Back to the breaking news out of Washtenaw County. The FAA says a plane crash near Ann Arbor Municipal Airport. We've confirmed one person died, another was taken to the hospital. Our Meredith Bruckner is live where that plane crashed. Meredith, what can you tell us right now? Shana and Rochelle, the plane crashed shortly after 1 o'clock this afternoon, and as you mentioned, there was one fatality. Now, an eyewitness who lives across from this field says he saw the entire thing. He said it appears as though the plane suffered a mechanical uh, malfunction at the time of the crash. Here's what the man who called 911 had to say. When I saw it, it was about 1,000 feet up in the air, and it went straight down in the, in the, uh, in the ground. And Must have had a mechanical failure because I didn't see any or hear any uh, uh, motor running. But uh, I, uh, uh, I, sorry that uh, one passed away and one's in critical condition. So all of this unfolded in the field behind me and I'll step out of the way so you can get a better view of the wreckage. And so here's what we know at this hour. Uh, two men were in the plane. One died and one was transported from the scene to Clinton Township High School via ambulance. He was then airlifted to Michigan Medicine and was said to be in critical condition. Michigan State Police, FAA investigators, Clinton Township Fire and Police all responded to the scene. A statement sent to CBS Detroit from the National Transportation Safety Board reads an NTSB investigator is expected to be on the scene sometime tomorrow to begin documenting the scene and examining the aircraft. The aircraft will then be recovered and taken to a secure facility for further evaluation. So that's all the information authorities are sharing with us at this time. We do not know the ages of these individuals or the circumstances of this flight, um, but a very tragic situation here in Clinton. Reporting live, Meredith Bruckner, CBS News, Detroit.